In this video, we're going to take a look at the top 20 cryptocurrencies and decide which ones we think could drop out of the top 20, and more importantly, which ones do we think could enter the top 20 cryptocurrencies. If you've not seen my version of this video breaking down the top 10, make sure you click up here. We're going to get straight into our smash the likes. Don't forget to subscribe. As always, check out the links in the description. And as you can see, I've pulled up the top 20, which is now in crypto, become a really hotly contested space it used to be that the top 10 mattered but really when you look at it if you imagine in your top 10 you have so many stable coins you've got tether usd coin you've got uh, obviously busd you've then got a couple of meme coins in dogecoin you've got xrp with their issue so the the top 10 has five or six which are just stuck in there so really you want to start looking into the top 20 and so i think the top 20 is the interesting bet one to avoid projects which can easily without the attention of anybody just fall out of the top 20 but also which ones can come from the 30s and the 40s or even lower up into the top 20s where you get that massive growth that's what we're looking for here so let's take a look here at the top 20 so we're going to look from 11 spot all the way up to 20 obviously we've covered the first 10 off in that previous video but what you can see here we'll skip past die obviously it's a stable coin then in 12 spot we've got litecoin now Again, what you'll notice here in the positions from 11 to 20, you tend to have a lot of these cryptocurrencies, which aren't the most exciting. But if you look historically, they're very difficult to shrug off. They're always there or thereabouts. They don't take a sudden massive pump to the upside, nor do they have a massive pump to the downside in terms of their ranking uh, here on CoinMarketCap. So when you take a look at Litecoin, it's a difficult one to say, oh, that's just going to fall out of the top 20. For whatever reason, it's managed to hold a really strong market cap of 5.5 billion here in the bear market i mean over the last seven days it's pumped 10 percent. so you can still see there's a lot of people behind this coin uh, and even though it's not something i'm fond of it's still sitting here in the top 20 and i think it could be a difficult one to shrug off then when you move down you've got something like polka dot again one i have a lot of hopes for and i like this project i think it's a solid project in the interoperability space but do i think it could break into the top 10 I'm not too sure. It's got to get a lot of things right in order to get into that highly competitive top 10 spot. But I think you'll see it there or thereabouts in the top 20. Maybe it'll fall a couple of spots down, but I don't see, don't see it having a disastrous 2023 that sees it dropping out of the top 20 in its entirety. Now, it's important to know, I don't think projects are just going to fall from them tanking. I don't think that's what we're going to see this year. I think what we'll see this year is projects losing spots because other projects are just growing faster than they are. And that's important to note. Polkadot can keep doing its thing. But if another interoperability play, and we're going to come, up to, come on to Cosmos shortly, outdoes it and grows faster than it, then you can start to see it losing some ground. Okay, then we move on to Solana. Now, Solana is a very interesting one as well. We've covered this off. Uh, I've got separate videos, which I'm going to link up here on my thoughts around Solana. I do hold Solana. I've not sold my Solana position, but it's not a project I have huge amounts of conviction in right now. I'm only holding it because I had a crazy cost basis. And I know a lot of people in that same position as well. So you've got to be very, very careful with something like Solana. Yes, I know they have an active ecosystem. They've got a good developer set. They like building. Um, and there's a possibility that they can revive themselves. But you've got to remember, there's going to be a lot of sell pressure on Solana throughout this year with a lot of people waiting for these small pumps just to offload some of their bags. There are billionaires sat on Solana with huge amounts that they bought in very early stages. And that's always going to create a lot of pressure on Solana. So this is one that could have a hugely volatile 2023. And we could see it falling out of the top 20. Yes, that's one of them, which I think could potentially, I'm prepared to see that fall out of the top 20. Next up, we then move on to Tron. Again, another one which is not exciting, right? I've given you my opinions on Justin Sun. I don't trust the guy. I think he's a bit dodgy. I think his projects, uh, if you read into his history, I've linked up a couple of articles before that you can Google and read up uh, about on, on uh, Justin Sun. But for whatever reason, his platform continues to be a big platform. 4.7 billion in market cap. And he's proven that he's always there or thereabouts. So another one I wouldn't really be buying into, but at the same time, I'm not betting against. People do still use the Tron network to send their transactions, and it's one that's going to be there or thereabouts. So again, not one I can see suddenly getting knocked off the perch in the top 20 here. And already you can see, guys, how this top 20 is very sticky. Once you do earn your stripes, it's something where, you know, you have a loyal fan base, you have a loyal group, people are actually using your product. And so it's very difficult to just dislodge you without other projects really growing and just knocking you down by being better than you. Um, 
Moving on, we'll take a look at Shiba Inu. Obviously a huge... I mean, this is where the opinion differs, right? I remember making a video saying Shiba is better than Doge in terms of fundamentals. And I stand by that. This was when Shiba first came out because Shiba are trying to build something. At the moment, Doge you know, hasn't got that. They've not got this active roadmap where this is what we're doing. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to build this. We're going to build this. We're going to have a metaverse. We're going to have this. We're going to have NFTs. We're going to have uh, an exchange. How, where is all that? It's just relying on Elon Musk integrating Doge at one point, And that's enough to keep, you know, Dogecoin in the top 10. So Shiba Inu is another one which could be, you know, this could go either way. It could do really well and launch, uh, launch some interesting updates and have a positive move to the upside because you never know with meme culture. But my overriding theme on this is I don't think meme coins are going to have sustained crazy pumps this year. I still think it's going to be a difficult year. I don't think people have disposable income like they did in 2020 and 2021 when they were throwing money into meme coins left, right and center. And for that reason, I think meme coins will have smaller pumps, but I don't think they're going to have that sustained crazy pumps. Nothing like we saw with GameStop and AMC and, and nothing like we saw in Dogecoin and Shiba at the first outset when they were first uh, had their hype okay last year or two years ago now okay so that's my thoughts on shiba then looking down we've got uniswap i think it'll be a positive year for uniswap i've given my thoughts around why i think decentralized plays are going to do well remember we had a lot of failings of centralized players in 2021 i think that's going to stick firm in the head of investors that we need to have some diversification in the decentralized alternatives we can't just be uh, betting on all centralized plays that goes against the ethos of crypto the whole point is decentralization so being the biggest and first uh, decentralized exchange out there they've got the early adopter advantage there 4.1 billion in market cap uh, the biggest by volume and definitely that's one which i think will hold its perch in the top 20 i don't see it getting dislodged from the top 20. next up you got something like avalanche again another solid layer one solution in terms of its tech have they got their marketing right um it's better than some of the other layer one platforms which i'm going to speak about shortly but it's still not, it's got a lot more to be designed for, right? It's not the most exciting layer one solution. I don't think they've got their messaging right. I don't think they've built the community around it as excitingly as you could have hoped, right? It's definitely, you couldn't, you couldn't compare it to the community of, let's say, Polygonmatic. I think they've done a far better job of galvanizing their community and doing really good biz dev, but it's there and thereabouts. And I think it's at a fair position now at 18th. But this is one I could see if they do not execute well in 2023, if they have another boring 2023 without some good biz dev, without some good updates, without some good communication from the team and just some real good marketing and social community building. I could see them getting knocked off the perch in the top 20 as well. Next up, Leo in 19th spot. Remember, this is the utility token for Bitfinex. Again, difficult to bet against utility tokens, right? Because the whole purpose that they've got a good market cap is people want to use it. People are using Bitfinex. They hold Leo to then do whatever they want to do in that ecosystem. And therefore, they hold value, right? Similar to BNB. So it's difficult to bet against them. But again, they're sitting so uh, tentatively there just within the top 20 it's very possible they get dislodged as well from the top 20. So now we'll move on to what are those projects which I think are the ones that could be dislodging these guys? Which are the ones that I think can move up into the top 20? And I'm going to start off with the most obvious one. But those are the three that are literally knocking on the door of the top 20 right now. Obviously, in 20th spot, you've got Rack Bitcoin, which we'll ignore. But then you've got Chainlink. Again, Chainlink, Data Oracle Play, the biggest, the first, every smart, catch, every smart contract developer you speak to will need the oracles from Chainlink to make their smart contracts operate. People don't seem to want to understand this. They, they want to focus on other exciting things, on meme coins or anything else, but they don't seem to understand that there's only one major Data Oracle Play out there. Yes, there are others like Band Protocol, but the Chainlink is by far by far the superior one, just like Polygonmatic is in the layer two space. So I call these blue chips, Chainlink, Polkadot, and Polygonmatic. I've always called those my blue chips. I dollar cost average into them. So I can see this being an interesting year for Chainlink jumping up perhaps into the top 20. I think it's a good defensive crypto. It's not something that people rotate to when times are exciting in a bull run. I think they much want to run into metaverse and NFTs and, and different exciting meme coins. But within difficult times where people are actually looking at their portfolio and say, what do I actually have conviction in? I think this is one of those projects when you look at it in your portfolio, you go, you know what? I made a rational choice. I didn't panic. I didn't buy that because of some other, you know, somebody told me to go buy Chainlink or some, some tweet made me excited. I bought it because I believe in the technology. I understand that it's an important data oracle and therefore I'm investing in it. You're not getting caught up in the hype. So definitely one I think could jump up a couple of spots. I don't think it's going to run up all the way to the top, but it could firmly lodge itself in the top 20 somewhere. Next up, Cosmos Atom. 
And again, this could be a big year for Cosmos Atom. It's been a good couple of years now in the making where Cosmos Atom just kind of left a little bit more to be desired. And I think part of it is how complicated their messaging is. They're not clear in where they are, what they do. And it's not their fault per se. It's just a lot of people don't understand the layer zero space and interoperability. And if you fall into that category, go watch this video here where I compare Cosmos Atom versus Polkadot. Because remember, Polkadot is sitting up here in 13th spot. And both of these projects, you can compare against each other. So I'll definitely go check that out. I'll link that up for you guys to go watch. But definitely another one that could easily jump a couple of spots and get into the top 20 this year. Following that, we'll move on to Monero. Privacy coins, in my opinion, are going to be a huge narrative this year. Again, we've seen the rise of cancel culture. We've seen the rise of wokeness. And this causes a lot of problems in the way we process payments. You've seen how literally if you say something which somebody does not agree with, your payment methods can be cancelled. And for that reason, I can see a lot of privacy coin narratives really being pushed. And Monero, again, is the leader in their space. Yes, there are others like Zcash, uh, Zcash and Dash. But for me, Monero sitting there on the perch could easily push its way into the top 20. Now, interestingly, it's not an exciting space, right? Nobody wakes up in the morning and says, I can't wait to load up a bag of Monero. But I think a lot of the smart money will start to realize that Monero is something they should be using. And the smart investors will be realizing this is something I should be invested in because it's an exciting narrative, which ultimately helps aid the initial mission of decentralization and crypto. So I definitely can see a positive year coming for Monero. And again, already a strong position, right? 23rd spot for a privacy coin is huge, but it could potentially knock itself up a few more spots into the top 20. Would definitely not rule it out. Another coin I want to be talking about, which a lot of people are not talking about, is Toncoin. This is the open network and it's run by Telegram. If you want a separate video on this, make sure you smash up likes. If we get to 200 likes on this video, I will make a separate video on Toncoin and comment it below, Ton. And if I see enough of those comments, I will make a separate video. But this is an exciting layer one proof of stake network, okay? And again, remember, I shared my vision that I think 2023, particularly the recovery, if the macro economy can improve in Q1 and Q2, such that by the time we get to Q3, Q4, we're ready to see some green shoots of recovery. I believe the money, when risk rotates back on, will go into Bitcoin, Ethereum, and then good layer one plays. That's where I think the money's gonna flow to. And so for me, it's always been important to hold good layer one solutions. And again, we've got another exciting one in Toncoin, which is sitting at 2.6 billion in market cap. This is no mean feat, guys. For this to be coming out of nowhere and sitting at 2.6 billion in market cap. Again, let's put that into perspective. Avalanche is sitting at 3.6 billion and they've been around for many, many years. So definitely another exciting one for us to monitor is Toncoin. Along the same lines, I do have to mention Algorand, even though I don't have huge conviction in this. Again, go watch my video here where I explain exactly why my conviction in Algorand is wavering and what has frustrated me. But again, I've got to put it on the list for you already, to put it on your radar because this is one of those projects that their tech is literally stacked up perfectly. If they could just figure out the marketing and the community elements, this project can easily skyrocket into the top 20 and well into the top 20. But it's a big if because they've not shown enough for me that warrants that, particularly with all this competition we've just been running through. And speaking of competition, look who's at the spot below them, Near Protocol, another exciting, really good technologically based layout one solution. Another one which I think has probably a better chance than Algorand uh, to jump into the top 20. And I think this they could really have a good year. I think the team are good. I think they built the social community much better than something like Algorand has managed to do so far. Uh, and I think this is another one that you definitely need to keep on your radar and could push up, not just into the top 20, but I think Near Protocol is one of those which has potential if it gets things right in the next cycle to get itself into the top 10. And that would be a serious move to the upside. Now, I do have a few qualms about Near Protocol. I have shared those in videos in the past. Do search the channel for my Near Protocol videos where I've shared how I think it's a little bit overvalued and what causes that. But at the same time, I still think it's got a long way to go and they've got a, a path ahead to get into the top 20 and eventually into the top 10. It's a very good project. One one more layer one solution just to throw it into the mix and remind you guys of how competitive this is and please guys this is not an exhaustive list right you guys will know projects that could have potential to jump into the top 20 which i've not mentioned here this is not meant to be exhaustive this is just what comes to my mind when i look at the top 20 and when i look below it which ones i think can jump to the upside i've got to give a mention to phantom sitting at 58 spot i think they can jump into the top 30 i think top 
30 would be a really impressive move here. I mean, you're just in the top 60 here, just about. I think a top 30 move here on Phantom would be impressive. If they did top 20 in this, in this uh, year here, that'd be a really impressive move to the upside. But again, it's such a small market cap sitting at just above half a billion right now, which just puts into perspective that the open network, Telegram's layer one solution, which I was just showing you, this one here, is huge, right? It's much faster. It's, it's got 5x the market cap of Phantom, and they're sitting here at 100 million transactions. So impressive, impressive there, and very competitive layer one space is fighting to get into that top 20. So many exciting projects fighting to not just stay in the top 20, but to break into the top 20 as well. Let me know in the comments, which are your hidden gems, which you think in 2023 specifically can break into the top 20. Which ones do you think will fall out as well? Because remember, crypto is not just about finding the ones which are going to rise, but also making sure you don't lose money on the ones which are just going to fall out of nowhere, like Terra Luna, like Solana has recently. Which are your projects which are going to boom? Which are the ones you think the bus comment below make sure you go watch this video here thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one